Lamar? A good question. Good topic, too. Unfortunately, it's always a heated debate. Um, I'll give you my example. When I was actually graduating, my parents, at least my dad, uh, was completely gung-ho on me continuing my studies. I'd approached my mom and my dad with the idea of taking a one-year sabbatical. and In, in other words, uh, finding a job, just a part-time menial job somewhere, just to be able to save up some extra money while I did, peered around the area to find out what I wanted to actually take. University, college, a special t technical trade school or specialized course. I never got that chance. Uh, unfortunately, my dad wanted me to actually get in, uh, immersed in uh, university bad idea uh, for the simple fact that I was never a social person to begin with and when I went to university I decided that okay they want to send me to university I'll make it my way I'll actually work part-time at the library and I'll actually live on campus so that I did Lo and behold, I started developing my social networking skills with people in, in real life. Um, for a kid coming out of a small town with only his small town friends going into a bigger city, we can't call it Toronto, Montreal, but uh, Edmondson was bigger than where I used to live. Uh, the lifestyle was different. The whole environment was different. So I attended University of Moncton and I decided to take a uh, biology bachelor's uh, or bachelor's in science with a master uh, with a specialization in biology. That failed miserably. Um, I started discovering that I didn't like theory enough to be able to, to live through it and I was actually sailing with C pluses and B minuses through um, my courses. I was doing badly at everything. Um, I think it's because I was more interested in developing my social skills with people at the university and I'm not talking about drinking myself under the table, far from it. More like getting together with friends, um, doing some role playing, discovering the world wide web through the uh, computer lab. Um, and then I, the things just didn't make sense. I, I went there for two years. I never completed anything. In fact, I, went, I took a 13th grade scientific degree, which is basically taking a dumbed-down version of science from grade 12 to first year of university to try and see if I can actually find my path again as to why I wanted to go into science. The only thing that worked well for me is I did B-plus in astrophysics. I still don't know how... <laughs> And I didn't decide to explore it further because I didn't want to go into astrophysics. There's no jobs. Or if the jobs exist, you have to fight for grants with the government to try and get it. And no. I wasn't the fighting type at that time. So I decided, okay, well, if this isn't working, let's go for something that works for me, being hands-on. Hands-on, I completed with flying colors. I went into an environmental technology degree, and I never worked in the field. The, uh, the whole point of this r this r r rant, I guess, is that no matter what you decide to take as education, things that you decide are for you, for your own reasons, one, I can't do it, I'm not in focus, it doesn't matter, one, you need to be able to uh, do it for yourself. Your parents are there to either help you achieve that goal uh, because they've done it, they've done sacrifices up to this point for you to use that money. Um, if they're intelligent, they'll manage it for you so that you don't end up blowing it on beer uh, or anything else while you go to the university or college. Um, trust me, it's a good idea that somebody else manages your money. Two, if you get a part-time job, make sure you can manage the hours while you're actually working and studying at the same time. Three, um, do the same thing I did in regards to approaching uh, a veterinary clinic. Uh, well, a hospital is, you can't really do it, but certain areas of expertise may be, and I do mean may, be open to the idea of you approaching them with 
a one week shadowing internship where you're there as part of the staff unpaid participating in all the chores for the business seeing what they actually do so you get a, a feel of is this for me or not I did one week for example for myself the reason why I mentioned veterinary clinic in March during March break the vet clinic is still open up in northern Madawaska so I decided to take a one week of my time off to be able to do something with them to discover if I could actually do it so I helped all the technicians I participated in the secretarial staff uh, function I participated with the vets function um, I didn't do any operations but I assisted and it was an eye-opener I discovered that I didn't want to do it for the simple fact that euthanasia on unwanted pets is not something I want to ever have to do uh, in fact euthanasia is possibly the most emotionally draining uh, piece from that type of job that you'll ever have to go through if you're going to be a vet or a technician um, and that's pretty much it I mean uh, it is bonus for you, uh, everyone out there if you can get education locally so if your parents are open to the idea of you staying at the house paying them small room and board or not paying small room and board so you save your money you can go to college go to university go take a specialized course and off you go now I decided that after everything that I did that uh, I would need to find a job after I graduated I couldn't find one in my field so I decided to take another course two years later in interactive multimedia design um, which went for press kit preparations, uh, business cards, envelopes, printed matter, um, multimedia in all its aspects, Flash, Photoshop, Illustrator, using all those tools together to be able to build it. Um, Learnware, I'm trying to remember the name of the Learnware that we were learning, but uh, we only learned some basics. Um, not enough to get anyone involved and the for the pay that I'm getting now working in my call center after being there for 10 years I'm actually being paid more than if I'm actually in my field because people in my field um, tend to get pe paid peanuts or you get paid very cheaply compared to other parts in the country granted the province I live in is not expensive to live in so the jobs won't be as high paying but still as much as I want to give myself free license to earn experience I'm not about to whore myself to the lowest payer just to be able to do it I'm not that stupid and I hope that none of you ever will now that said it's your own decision at the final point of uh, occurrence and it's something that you all have to go through in life you do need some extra education for more than the the educational purpose it's also an eye-opener to the world and allows you to experience life outside of your home um, with other people and seeing if you can adapt to it so everything learned every piece of knowledge that we get is always useful and it's always something that uh, will be used regardless so that said I think that's enough time for me have a nice one